Doing an audiobook can normally be a very intense affair, but this has been for Oscar Wilde, which is quite wordy and it's unabridged. It's the full thing. There's no like cuts in there. It's exactly every word as he's written. I was slightly daunted by it because it is very intense to be in a dark studio just with you and someone who's producing it, creating it with you and directing it. But I, yeah, I've loved it. As an actor, there is lots of characters in it, so it gave me an opportunity to give voice to, you know, the world. Dorian Gray is a ridiculously handsome young man in Victorian England, and he becomes a muse for an artist, and a painting is painted of him, a portrait of Dorian Gray. And through meeting this artist, Dorian is entered into a world of socialites and entered into a world of personalities of which he comes across one man who is his biggest inspiration. He is the devil. He is the guy who has offered him the opportunity to sell his soul for his youth, to retain his beauty and youth, and he's told by this devilish man that that is the most important thing in your life. And this portrait shows his soul as he's aging. The sin that he has chosen ends up destroying him and the thing that he most celebrates and loves and worships and everyone sees as the most incredible thing ends up becoming the worst thing that could ever happen to him.